Merck continues its strong partnership with Ministry of Health Uganda to support infertile women across the country. For the second year, Merck through Merck More Than a Mother initiative continues their commitment to empower infertile women in Uganda through improving access to information, health, change of mindset, and economic empowerment. Through Empowering Burner Project, Merck, in partnership with Uganda Ministry of Health, supported more than 800 Ugandan childless women who shared their stories of suffering from infertility stigma by establishing for them small businesses to enable them to lead independent, happy lives. Moreover, Mark More Than a Mother raised awareness about infertility prevention, management, and male infertility across rural communities. We know exactly why we are here now. So I'm happy to have all these strong women with us today because they will be the ambassadors and the one who building advocacy and uh, correct this. I mean, we should not let our women suffer this consequences of infertility. Women are more than mothers. Whether they have children or not, they're still productive members in society. But not only the strong women we have with us today, like uh, Madame Brigitte Toadoura, uh, which is the first lady of uh, Central African Republic, she's championing uh, this campaign and also uh, dedicating all her efforts and time to empower all the child women across Africa. But we also have strong men with us, and we need the men to tell their fellow men that this is incorrect and we break the stigma of infertility. We will empower and retire women through Merck More Than a Mother, through access to health, awareness and information, and change of mindset, but also, not only this, but we will empower the infertile women who cannot have children anymore to be economically and socially independent by establishing for them small businesses for a group of women so they can lead their life and have get control of over their life again and respect, get the respect they deserve from the community and society. Uh, women empowerment and especially empowering this unprivileged group of women Women who cannot give birth, who cannot have children, and most importantly that because of that, they will be mistreated and discriminated, is just not acceptable. It's not acceptable. When you look at what we have today uh, in, in the last video, the new, the new video clip that we have developed for Uganda, this, is not, this has nothing to do with culture. This is just not fair. And we have to continue to raise advocacy. We have to continue to engage the male population in order to be able to have a common cause that will improve the situation of female in all fronts, mainly in these cases. And what is, what is even worse is that infertility can actually be prevented. Close to 75% can actually be prevented. So we need to focus on prevention and I'm happy that as a ministry we are already involved with guidelines to guide our health workers to create awareness as they talk to mothers about family planning and other services. This is one of the issues that should be integrated in reproductive health. And reproductive health should not only be about maternal mortality giving birth should not only be about child spacing, should not only be about talking about early pregnancy, but let us ensure that even issues around infertility should be talked about so that people know that it is even treatable. En juin 2016, à Abidjan, en Côte d'Ivoire, j'ai accepté d'être ambassadrice de la lutte contre l'infertilité et la stigmatisation faite aux femmes stériles en Afrique francophone avec le soutien de Merck. Je sais que c'est une lourde responsabilité, mais aussi une noble mission pour moi, au regard des souffrances que connaissent nos filles, nos sœurs et nos mères dans nos sociétés, du fait de leur infertilité et stérilité, aucune lutte ne saurait être plus exaltante. Africa, it's high time for us to wake up. It's high time for us to stop hiding 
and on the table when we talk about infertility. It's high time that we stop burying our heads in the sand. We don't have to wait for anybody to come from outside Africa to come and handle this problem for us. It's high time that we stand together and know that infertility is not a curse, it's not a taboo. It's high time for us to advocate this everywhere and for the government to make sure that we put budgets to create awareness, to educate people on what are the causes of infertility. And I'm sure if we do that, we'll be able to cure many problems that we are seeing facing couple and women in this nation and also in Kenya. A woman is always a mother because a woman has a man in her making. You don't have to have a child to feel fulfilled. You are already fulfilled. À travers les images et la capacité de résilience des femmes, je souhaite les encourager et leur demander à être fortes parce que j'ai vu que le programme Merc a eu un effet positif sur elles ici en Ouganda et je salue aussi Merc pour ce grand travail à Batu en Ouganda. We are proud to be associated with this campaign. We fully endorse Mark More Than a Mother campaign and we take and recognize that it is important to pull skills, knowledge and experience together in order that we can squarely and soundly cause the cultural shift. Because it's a role model of the family we want. When a husband supports his wife, it's a great family. And uh, you know, you, you went to the hospital. You had. You want to tell us what you got? Yes. The hospital is here for the assembly. He's the hero. He's to go to the imaging center. And she got the key. Yes. Thank you so much for recognizing that I cannot say for you.